I'm going to be working on a new drawing today. So this is my, all my loose pieces of paper. So I'm going to pick one out. This is my photo reference for the drawing. So I like this image a lot. I think it's really interesting. Uh, I've got like candles dripping wax down off those three candlesticks. So with my paper, I think I'm going to pick a darker piece so then I can use white chalk to really show the brightness of the flames. Picked out that this blue sheet, but I'm going to test it with some white chalk to see how well it shows up. Yeah, shows up really strong. This is the paper that I'm going to use. This is Canson, and I really like using Canson for my charcoal drawings. I either use Canson or Stonehenge paper, but I usually prefer Canson better. All right, now as far as drawing tools, I like to start the drawing usually with vine charcoal. I really like to have a stiff bristle fan brush to move charcoal around. I have a dirty kneaded eraser, a clean one, also a cleaner. I probably need to clean it better. <laughs> a cleaner and a dirty chamois. I like the contrast to like see how much charcoal I want to take away from the drawing. Um, so I've got the Nietzsche charcoal. So this is the hard, medium, and soft. And then this stuff I keep on hand but farther away because I don't use it so much or use it later in the drawing like the chalk I'll use later in the drawing and then um, some charcoal pencils which I put out but I don't normally use them and same with these brushes I normally don't use them but just in case I want to and then this is sandpaper for sharpening the charcoal and as far as drawing goes and drawing size so I have a full sheet of paper right here I normally will cut the paper in half to do my drawings but since for the reference image I've got the arms in there too and I kind of want to work on something a little bit bigger though it might not be too much bigger proportion wise like head wise with these with this drawing compared to something like this it's just adding in the arms and I want to just make sure that I don't run out of paper space so I'm also going to be working comparative measuring uh, not side size I find that now like working comparative measuring and just kind of like eyeing it and feeling it out is just more flexible and freeing and I've been enjoying doing that so so that's what I'm going to do for this drawing just wing it and see where it goes drawing in progress but I've got all the basic elements in now you can see I've definitely worked the face the most and then like this arm and everything is just drawn in pretty simply still and pretty lightly so it does, definitely doesn't have the same value structure yet as the face but this has been an experiment with candlelight so I blurred out some areas around the candlelight to make the candles look bright and how it would be affecting the face 
these are the tools that I've been using, not as organized anymore as when I started. So I had these for a long time, but I don't really use them. But I started to use them in this drawing for areas like the darks and the eyes and pretty much all the really dark accents that you see in the drawing, which I like because it's just showing up stronger than the other charcoal that I use. So I like that contrast. Um, I used normal chalkboard chalk for the candles and then um, charcoal pencil for some areas in the face just because I can sharpen it easier so it's a bit easier to control. But now today I'm going to work on finishing it and I want to add some more interesting line work to it. Just kind of get this overall finish. So I'm going to be adding that, I don't know what you call it, just like a more fun style, like being more intentional and confident with my line making now since I have everything basically down. So now today is just working on getting that a more interesting style in it to make it a really interesting drawing. And then for setup, right behind me I have this big mirror, which is nice. So since I've been sitting while, well, since I'm, yeah, look at that. <laughs> since I've been sitting while I work, since I'm pregnant, it's easier to just like turn around rather than getting up and walking back and forth a lot to get a farther away distance on the drawing to get a different perspective. So yeah, you can see the chair, mirror, tools, drawing. I also have a tiny little mirror that I use too, but I'm actually preferring looking in the bigger mirror. So I'm gonna get back to it and wrap up this drawing. All right, here's the finished drawing. So I added a bunch of accent marks, places, and not with just charcoal, with highlights too, just to get some like strength in some other areas. But I'm liking this style that I'm finding between having things be more linear and kind of a graphic, like the lines down there for the table, and yeah, kind of balancing between having things more soft and then having things more harsh. I think it's the, uh, fun finding a balance between those two. Working on this drawing has been interesting. This is um, from, or going towards a new series that I'm experimenting with and with changing up my painting practice, like using photo reference, which is what I use to base this drawing off of. And for a photo shoot that I did, I just did a lot of different things. And one of them was just me holding those three candlesticks and trying to like get an interesting image out of that, not really thinking yet of a narrative behind it. So working on this drawing, um, I, I like the image a lot, uh, that three candlesticks and the wax dripping down and kind of an intense gaze with the viewer as well. And we're also resting on a table, I think is interesting. And so I've been thinking up different, it's like sparking different images for how, like how to fill the world around that person to get a interesting narrative that follows this like basic 
overarching theme that I want in my new works, which is they might be gods. So something kind of mysterious like that. So next I do want to paint this image and get a painting study of it, especially with the different light source because, well, there's two light sources in this painting. There's a light coming from this direction and then also obviously the light from the lit candles. And I want to just experiment more with my new palette where I've added in a bunch of different other colors and I've been experimenting with, kind of like how I'm experimenting with how I'm laying down charcoal and lines and also chalk. I want to be, or I'm also experimenting then with uh, different brush strokes as well and kind of how I'm laying the paint in and also how I'm laying the charcoal in. And then being on this new trajectory with this the new series, like right now I've just been studying, working from photo reference and then also that new color palette. So I have three charcoal drawings done now. One painting is completed. Another one, it's a work in progress. I'm waiting for the layers to dry so I can do another layer over it. And then to start the painting study of this drawing. And then I want to start getting into more of the, the narrative bigger pieces that aren't so much studies, but it's an actual finished image. And I'm excited because this whole process of changing things up has been so fun and positive for me. It's just making painting and drawing just way more fun.